Welcome back, Panda Cubs. Today we're going into two things. Uh, first of all, it's Sammy Khan and the MetaBeat Conference. And the second one is Atlas Racer. So let's get into it. The key mentions that they had in the conference was not anything related to any updates on Atlas Earth in particular, but what they're doing to transform the metaverse into something where we actually feel like we're attached emotionally in a positive way rather than just kind of like Decentraland or Sandbox where it's just this whole different world with brands that we love, but it's in places that we are unfamiliar with. Apparently it does drive us away from the metaverse a little bit, but Atlas Earth, as simple as it is, it sounds like it's actually a very successful company and they know what they're doing, which is awesome. This is one keynote or phrase that he says, a better real world experience is the goal of Atlas Earth, meaning people can use their mobile devices to purchase the virtual land where they live, work, and play. Why that's important is because he had mentioned that we are emotionally tied to these places, so it gives us a bigger meaning rather than just a different world. So I feel empowered as well when I buy parcels where I live or where I work because it feels like it's my own space. It's not necessarily mine, but it feels kind of comforting knowing that, hey, this parcel is mine. This is where I work. This is, you know, what I do around in this area. Kind of gives you a little place where you can put your flag down and say, this is mine and no one else's. And that's why the metaverse should look more into it where we can actually transform our real world into a form of a metaverse or a virtual reality of the same place so we can feel a little bit more comforted. The other thing that I actually really enjoyed is that he talks about how he uses marketing in Atlas Earth to help us earn a little bit something and actually let the real world economy uh, grow from it. So he obviously has partnerships with like Speedway, Burger King, Sonic, and other companies, of course. And what that means is that he's actually involving real world places with the metaverse at the same time. And we feel like we're part of something that what we do actually contributes not only into the real world, but into our metaverse or Atlas Earth so that we can purchase more parcels and feel like we have some kind of ownership and that we're getting something in return. Obviously, we're getting paid back. It may be small increments, but in long run, we are getting paid for essentially owning places, parcels, and the metaverse that makes us feel like we are part of society in some shape or form. And then Khan emphasized that he did not want the metaverse to be a flash in the pan. This means building an ecosystem that creates positive value. So obviously other metaverses are just kind of throwing out brands money out there and just hoping that we bite into it and we kind of get sucked into it, but that's not a good way to looking at it. He wants it to be a positive experience. He wants it to be something where it can transform our lives in a positive direction. So he didn't give any updates about Atlas Earth in particular, but he was just giving the idea of what the metaverse means to him and how other places can kind of be influenced from his ideas. He is the top one in that platform at this moment, which seems kind of strange because Atlas Earth is such a simple game in a sense, but it's the most successful because, you know, like we said, it's an emotional tie. We are able to get something in return. It's a free investment if we choose to use it. Um, other brands seem to be kind of sucking in a lot of money, which a lot of us don't have. We don't have thousands and hundreds of dollars to be throwing out there. Let's move on to the second point. Uh, there was not much else in the conference. He was just giving some key points. Atlas Racer. So it doesn't sound like it's going to be part of Atlas Earth. It's going to be its own game, which is a cool concept and everything. But I was kind of hoping that it would be an Atlas Earth to kind of give us a little bit more motivation to earn more Atlas bucks, but it doesn't seem to be the case. So Atlas Racer is going to be its own game. But the nice thing is we're going to be competing against other racers across the whole country. So it's not just in your area, like in Atlas Earth, where you can kind of see who's around. It's going to be everyone in the in the country, in this case, in the United States. It's awesome because we are able to walk around kind of like Atlas Earth or Pokemon Go or whatever it is, and we collect car parts to build our car, and then we use that car to race. Every time that we win a race, we get a pink slip, which causes us to move up in the leaderboard, which is awesome. But if we lose a race, we lose a pink slip, if you have any, 
and you also lose your car, which kind of sucks. So that means you have to rebuild another car. And I'm not sure how many times you can race, but it sounds like it's going to be an awesome experience. So it means that everybody can compete, try to get that $20. I don't know if it's just the top player gets the money or if there's going to be a tier list, second, third, fourth, and fifth, and so on. I hope there is a tier list because if it's just $20 for one person across the whole country per day, that's kind of a downfall, but we'll see how it goes. I already signed up for the beta. You guys too. If you just go on to atlasracer.com, you can sign up with your phone number and you will be set. The other thing I did notice is there is a background picture and it looks like there's diamonds, kind of just like Atlas Earth, which is kind of interesting. So I, I'm assuming you use diamonds maybe to use that as your entry to race. And then you see little gift boxes where there's going to be obviously car parts in there. I'm assuming that it's going to be the same concept where there's going to be common parts, rare, epic and legendary so obviously if you have legendary parts for your car then you're going to be able to probably be faster than others and that's what you want but i'm sure it's just going to be all at random so i have a feeling that one person is going to be stacked per day and they might be able to have two three legendaries at a time on their car and there's no way that we might win against that but i'm excited for it it is a good update to hear about not much on Atlas Earth at the moment, but that is a huge announcement, I believe. And I hope that I can see you guys, that we can race each other. That kind of gives an awesome concept if we can just kind of race each other. You guys as my Panda Cubs and me being Panda Knight. I hope to see you guys out there on the racetracks. And I will catch you up with some more updates when they start rolling out. So peace out.